in engineering, tolerancing is extremely important because they can make the difference between the design that works and one that doesn't. Traditionally, the tolerancing has been left to the drawing phase of the operation, where we'll add in a dimension, double click the dimension, and under the precision and tolerance tab, add in our tolerancing data. So for this case, we are going to add a plus or minus one millimeter deviation. However, wouldn't it be nice to be able to include this precision and tolerancing directly into the model itself and then draw that information directly into the, the draw? What we're going to do in this video is exactly that. So I'm going to delete these dimensions. And now we are going to go back to the model. So here we have the model. And under extrusion one, we have a sketch which defines the original profile. Here we can see the original 30 millimeters, and here we can see the 18 millimeters defining the two base dimensions. If we select these dimensions and double click, we can click this little arrow next to the dimension and click tolerance. Here we can input the tolerances we desire for this object. So I'm going to change this one to symmetric plus or minus one millimeter and click OK. Next, it's important to click the tick or else Inventor won't remember it. We'll know if we succeeded if we can see a plus or minus one next to the 30. We'll add in another tolerancing value to the 18 millimeters here. And I'll click the little arrow again, tolerance. And this time we're going to do a deviation. So it can be allowable to plus one minus 0 0.5 and click OK and the tick. Here we've added in the tolerances. So I'm going to save that. And now we're going to go back into the drawing. Now I want to dredge up the information that we put into the model into the drawing itself. The temptation might be to use another dimension to redimension the lines, but you'll notice that the, the um, tolerances that we added are missing. There's a special trick to this. In order to get the dimensions, what we're going to do is click underneath annotate and click retrieve model annotations. Next, we'll choose our view and we'll choose the dimensions which we want to retrieve. So here we see the 30 plus or minus one millimeter. I'll click that and click OK. And then I can drag the tolerance dimension into position. I'll do that one more time with the top view. Retrieve model annotation, click the view and select our tolerance dimension. And just like that, we've been able to uh, put the tolerancing information into the 3D model and pull it back directly into the drawing. This is more in line with the Autodesk um, paradigm of using the model as a source of truth. And I think that this is the best way to work.